Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video, we'll be replacing the front grille on this 2001 Chevy S10 pickup. Basically the same procedure on any 98 to 2004 S10 with this composite style lights. Okay, we start by removing the headlights, which is pretty simple. There's two tabs that pull up that lock the headlight into place, and then you kind of um, rotate the light forward and pull it out. And then just use your thumb and unlock the headlight harnesses. And then the side marker light bulb twists out. Okay, and your headlight's free. Now we're going to remove the parking light, and it's locked in by a double tab here. You kind of use your other hand to press out on the light a little bit while you're um, pushing on the tabs with the screwdriver and it'll come on lock pretty quick and then there is a third tab that holds it in on this one it kind of came right out but on the side and I'll show it to you later uh, there is another tab that locks it in okay and then once the uh, parking light is out it's a twist tab it's a thumb tab and then twist and your parking lights out now the grill just fastens in with metal tabs um, you can see one right down there you just put your uh, screwdriver between the metal and the plastic of the grill. Pull on the grill a little bit while you pry with the screwdriver and the tab will pop out. Another one there and I'm going to change the angle a little bit. This is up top. Um, I pulled this one and actually most of the top ones came right out. Another one there, another one there. And then we're going to get into this one here. Again, just the screwdriver between the metal and pop the clip out. One down there and then this one here and pretty much your grill is out. Okay, so just pull it and make sure that the lights don't flop all over the place. Pull it out. And then for your new grill, you're going to want to swap those metal clips on probably. Uh, pretty easy. Just use a screwdriver or maybe a pair of pliers. Get them started and then you can work them off with your hand. And then they just go right back on. So you got your clips switched over and then um, pull the harnesses over and make sure the, the parking light harness goes through the correct hole. Again on the other side, just pull the harnesses over, make sure the parking light harness goes through the correct hole. Um, and then I started with the top four. Uh, basically you're just kind of lining up the clips, uh, make sure they're, most of them are lined up and then pop one in, check the other ones. And then pop the side ones in. Make sure, like I said, as you're doing them, make sure the ones that are next to them are lined up at the same time. There is a middle one. I didn't even realize it when I removed it. Um, but you just kind of look up and underneath there and make sure that middle one is in and it pops in. And then the ones on the side, pop them in. And then we're going to replace the parking lights. There's a bunch of tabs that line up, and then those ones that you saw before. And then this is the one that can be a problem um, when you're removing the, the parking light. And it's actually easy enough to reach in from the side uh, and hit that with your finger and pull it and have it unlock. Okay, so just continue to show you where those tabs go. Okay, and then we'll go. Okay, so insert the bulb and twist. Can be a little bit of a pain. Um, and then twist and put it in and then kind of push it back into place change the angle here so you can see from the top and make sure that goes in correctly and push the other side and then I kind of also grab the inside of the uh, the grill just to make sure everything. Now there's tabs on the headlights that go down in those slots. I'm going to spray them with a little oil just to make things easier. So those are the tabs. They go into those slots when you're putting the headlight in. Um, now we're going to get ready. We're going to plug in the harness here. 
And what I'm going to show you next after we plug in the harness is you want to make sure that harness doesn't get pinched in. And there's actually on those tabs that I showed you, um, there's just like a little ledge built on and you kind of wrap the harness up and around the, that ledge. And I'll show you here. Um, so I'm grabbing the harness and I'm bringing it up on top of the tabs that are on the tabs. Um, if you have one of these lights in your hand, you'll see what I mean. Uh, and then you put the light in. And it's kind of a, a little ballet of pushing the bottom down, making sure those tabs go into those slots, and then getting um, the upper uh, tabs back into the back into the radiator support. And you can actually look down into the holes and see uh, everything pretty clearly, and so you get it. And then once you got that, you put the locking. Um, the locking tabs back in, which unfortunately I didn't get a great shot of here, um, but lock the tabs back, go back in, and you're all set. And so that's it. Um, you know, a grill replacement takes uh, probably about 30, 35 minutes, uh, and if you do your headlights and parking lights at the same time, you can really freshen up the front end of your S10. We hope this helps you out. This video was brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person. Thank you very much.